So we have already seen uh, the classification of research uh, according to the purpose, uh, theoretical research and applied research. Uh, now we'll classify a research uh, based on the depth of the scope or based on the scope. Uh, first uh, research type that we'll see is uh, exploratory research. So as we go down, uh, as we move uh, up and up, so the depth will go on increasing. Okay, so exploratory uh, uh, research uh, depth is shallow. Okay, so it is used uh, for preliminary investigation. So we are not done the research yet. So we have to do some preliminary investigation in that case we do uh, the exploratory research uh, subject is not yet uh, well understood or sufficiently research okay it can uh, once done uh, the exploratory research it can be set as a reference and a hypothesis from which uh, in the study can be developed okay so it is uh, we can say uh, to initiate the research we start with the exploratory research and from that as a reference we can build the hypothesis for further in-depth study so uh, exploratory research relies uh, less on the theory but uh, more on the data collected uh, to identify the pattern and to explain the phenomenon uh, and investigation of the role. Okay, so it is uh, more based on collected uh, data. So this exploratory research is based more on collected data rather than theory, okay? So whatever we collect data, based on that we do this research, okay? Now suppose there is a new uh, technologies are coming in the society and so previous knowledge is not available uh, about these technologies, uh, their effect. So uh, for us, it is a new area, okay? Like uh, effect of social media on the personality. So this is the new area. So we'll just first try to explore this, collect uh, the literature, and based on the literature, uh, we'll decide what will be our further scope for the research, okay? But whatever data we collect, uh, whatever research based on that data, it is called as what? exploratory research so it is a shallow type of research so it is not in-depth uh, uh, research you can say okay it is not in-depth research it is just shallow research to start with okay so that is the exploratory to explore now uh, we'll go to the next uh, research type that is the descriptive research. So here we do the description, okay? We describe the phenomenon, okay? So your purpose is to describe the phenomenon. Earlier only to collect the data, okay? And mention it, okay? So, but here we describe that, okay? We describe the phenomenon, uh, discover, discovering the association among the different yes. variable okay so that comes in the so here we only describe okay association we describe the phenomenon okay so here we uh, define the characteristic of particular phenomenon without uh, going in depth that what caused that particular behavior okay so here we only describe the particular phenomenon but we are not our interest is not what caused that phenomenon, okay? Our interest is only to describe the phenomenon, okay? To explain the phenomenon, but not what caused that phenomenon, okay? So that is called a descriptive research.
Okay, that is called a descriptive reason. Okay. So, uh, in descriptive research, uh, researcher uh, must take care that uh, it is not to intervene or disturb the observed phenomenon. Okay. Because uh, if he intervene, then uh, the phenomenon get later, uh, little or a few percentage it can get changed. So he has, he or she has to take the care in the descriptive research. Like you can give the example of descriptive research. So in descriptive research, market uh, researchers want to observe the habit of consumer. So market researchers want to just describe what is the behavior of, uh, uh, we can say, habits of consumer. Okay, whether the consumer purchasing mobile, purchasing the uh, memory card, purchasing mobile cover. So what habits are there? Okay. So that is a descriptive type of the research. Then comes uh, education officer example. I can say next example. Education officer wants to know uh, uh, whether student want to use the books, textbooks, or want to go for online uh, materials okay so that is uh, descriptive type of the research so here we describe rather than going uh, what caused that uh, particular phenomenon okay that is called a descriptive research okay then comes explanatory research okay so when it comes explanatory research uh, we are our interest is also uh, what caused that uh, particular phenomenon, okay? And uh, how to generalize to the similar realities, okay? So we can say that uh, explanatory research is uh, very close to the descriptive research, but what we do is we provide additional information and how it is... Uh, what is uh, creating that okay what creating that particular phenomenon okay so that uh, description also we provide okay explanation we also provide okay like here we start with why okay here is explanatory so we want explanation what we we want here we want explanation here if you see earlier uh, Descriptive, it was only descriptive, market research, like habits of the consumer, okay? We are not asked why, why there is habit of particular habit of consumer, that we are not asked. Only we want to know the habit of the consumer, that comes the descriptive research, okay? But in the explanatory research, our purpose is to uh, know why there is particular phenomenon okay so like uh, we may ask the question why do undergraduate students obtain higher average grades in the first semester as compared to the second semester so we want to know so we say explanatory means it is it is to be explained why so why question will come in the explanatory research? Why do undergraduate students obtain higher average grades in the first semester than the second semester? Then we'll see the second example. Why are teens are more like to litter in a highly litter area than in the clean area. So why the kids, children make a littering in the uh, non-clean area than in the clean area? So here we ask why. So we need to answer the, we have to give the explanation to this question. So that is the explanatory research. That is the explanatory research. Now we'll move to the 
last type of the research that is the which is according to the scope that is correlational research okay so explanatory research we gave why particular phenomenon is happening but here we have to give the here also there is cause effect but how much uh, will be changed in the effect that we need to measure here we need to find the real relation so it is a correlational research so we need to find relation between two or more variable and in correlational uh, study we also determine whether uh, a variable changes how much is the other elements of the other system change so amount is also important here so <laughs> explanatory research we say why this happens what causes it okay but in correlation research uh, what causes it and how much so how much is also there in correlation research yes magnitude yeah, magnitude is also there, okay? In correlation research, it, it is not asking only the uh, what is the cause and what is the effect, but uh, the how much how much change in cause will affect uh, to what extent the effect, okay? So, the amount is also important here, okay? So, that is a correlation research, okay? So, here... I, uh, I will give one uh, example. So, I uh, taken from the internet. Scientists might want to see if people working in the public sector are less likely to take their car for repair than those who work in the private sector. Okay. So, here, sometimes we know the relation. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, what, uh, what we know, uh, we can have... Uh, the we can say a, 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 what is called as uh, we have the data that cause and effect a relation we have but we don't know the amount okay the what amount it is happening okay so like here uh, the example is given that scientists may be interested to know whether uh, the public sector employees uh, take a car to the repair more often as compared to the private sector workers okay so that is a correlation research okay so this is for today so we may take i may take the lecture tomorrow if you have any question you can ask otherwise i will stop here thank you yes